Bracketed orders, also known as take profit or stop loss orders, are an amazing way to automate some of your trading just a little bit. These type of orders will actually allow us to set up orders in advance to take a profit if the stock goes up, while also protecting us to the downside if things go wrong. But how do we actually do that within Webull? Now in today's video, that is exactly what we're going to learn how to do, and we're going to go through the entire process of creating both a take profit and stop loss order. Now in order for us to actually do this on a brand new position, we will need to head over to the stock profile page by coming up here to the search icon in the upper right hand corner. From there, we'll be able to type in the actual stock ticker of the stock that we're interested in buying. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and throw in Rocket and go ahead and click on it in the list here. From here, we can actually see a lot of info about the company and we can see a nice little chart of its price history over time. But in our case, what we want to do is head down to the lower left hand corner and select that big blue button marked trade. That'll then immediately take us to an order ticket where we would actually come to place a normal buy or sell ticket. However, in this case, we actually want to come down to the order type, which currently says limit, and actually go ahead and click on that. We can then see all of the other order types available to us, but what we want to do is actually scroll down to the section marked group orders, and then here we can actually see all of the different advanced order options available to us. But honestly, 99% of you guys watching this will most likely be using the one marked limit plus take profit stop loss order. If we were to come down and actually select that one, that one will allow us to actually set up an opening trade to buy the stock, which if it ever fills, will then put out an order to sell it for a certain profit target or stop us out if it goes down. So in my case, you can see that I do have the limit plus take profit stop loss selected. And the very first thing I need to do is actually specify the opening order ticket. So in this case, we'll come down to the current limit price. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and adjust it down to seven bucks. So I'm essentially saying I only want to buy these shares of Rocket if it drops down to 7. After hitting the next button, I could then specify the quantity of shares that I actually wanted to buy. And in this case, I only want to buy one share. So I'm going to go ahead and type in one here and go ahead and hit next one more time. Now you can see that it does automatically take us to the take profit order next. But instead of doing that, I actually want to adjust my time in force on that opening ticket to a GTC order or good until canceled. Now GTC simply means if the order ticket does not fill today, go ahead and try again tomorrow and the next day and the next day and so on until it actually fills. But now that we're actually done with the opening trade ticket, we can next move on to the take profit and stop loss order. And in this case, I'm actually going to set my profit taking order, which is the first one up to let's say 10 bucks. I'm going to delete that out of there, type in 10. And next up, I'm also going to make my stop loss order set to six bucks, saying if it ever drops down to six, get me out of it. Now, finally, I'm also going to flip it over from a day order to a GTC order as well. So these two order tickets work indefinitely. And now that everything is filled out, you can see I'm essentially saying with this order ticket is first off, I want to buy one share rock if it ever drops down to seven bucks. Then when that ever happens, or if it ever happens, I then want to automatically put out an order to sell it for 10 bucks, which would be a $3 per share profit, or I want to get stopped out if it ever drops down to six bucks a share, since I don't want to lose more than a dollar. Now, besides that, we do also have the ability to toggle on or off the take profit or stop loss order if we didn't want both of them to go out there. So for example, we could flip off the stop order if I only wanted the limit to go out there, or vice versa, I could uncheck the limit if I only wanted the stop to go out there. Now in my case, I do want both of them to go out there, both a take profit and stop loss order. So I've got all my bases covered. So I'm going to go ahead and reactivate both of them. And now that I'm happy with this, I will simply come down here and select buy at the very bottom. You'll then see an order confirmation box pops up confirming that this is in fact what we want to do. We want to buy one share rocket. And then if that happens, we want to sell it for 10 or get stopped out for six. Now, since this does look correct, that's exactly what I want to do. I'm just going to come down here and hit the confirm button. You can then see that it automatically takes us to the working order screen and we can actually see our open order. And in this case, it has not filled yet. It does tell us that this is a working order. Now, later down the line, if I decided to cancel this order, I could go down to the very bottom and hit cancel advanced order. Or if I wanted to edit it in some way, I could click on the leg that I wanted to edit. So in this case, the opening trade, we'll go ahead and click on that guy. 
Then from there, we can actually adjust the order ticket. So here we can either adjust the opening price, the take profit price, or the stop activation price. And then if we did want to change something, and we did, and then we we're happy with it, we would just hit place order once again. Now in order to find that later down the line, if we were to back out entirely, we could also come up here to the back button in the upper left, go ahead and cancel out of this. And then in order to find our working and open orders, we will simply hit the little weeble icon at the very bottom of our screen. From there, you can see the orders tab right at the top. And if we were to go ahead and select that, we can now see our working order right here as well. You guys might have also noticed if we go back to Rocket for just a second, that we can actually see that working order right on our chart. So right there, we can see our opening order to buy it at seven and then our take profit and stop loss order right on our chart. But hopefully after that, you all feel a lot more comfortable with how to place bracket orders within the Webull mobile app. If you guys do still have questions or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And also, if you guys were looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well. So go ahead and check it out. But that's it for now. Have a great rest of your week, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.